Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda Link Dimension universe is a very different place. Its people are able to capture, tame, and battle with creatures that inhabit its landscape. From the scorching deserts of the Gerudo to the lush and verdant forest of Faron, these magical creatures that ancient Sheikah text calls Pokemon dominate this world. Some Pokemon are merely native Hyrulean creatures imbued with magic while others emerged from dimensional rifts formed by the event known as the Great Paradox. Ganondorf of the Gerudo, or who some refer to now as the Arm of the Demon, caused the Great Paradox. His attempt at using a sacred tool to bring harmony to Hyrule failed, and caused not only death and destruction, but the shattering of the Triforce. Shards from the Triforce were scattered across Hyrule and lost their golden luster. Only a small fraction of their power remained, pulsating quietly, as they await a hero to piece them back together. Picking up where we left off in Link Dimension's story, Impa had just given Link the ancient Sheikah Blade, three ancient Sheikah Balls, and the Sheikah Dex. She also gave him the choice of a rare starter Pokemon of either a Decute, a Gorlet, or a Zorel. You can determine which Pokemon Link chooses. Impa gave Link a quest to catch three more wild Pokemon and test his skills in battling. Some examples of wild Pokemon found in the area around Orden Village are Snatchet, Skiddo, Torchic, Spidal, Lycub, Chiquito, Pixie, Hatpea, Rablu, and a few more. After catching three Pokemon with the ancient Sheikah Balls, he will have the same amount of Pokemon as Impa's team. The companions she chose are meant to test Link's strength as a novice trainer. Before revealing her team, let's learn more about Impa. Impa is a very closed off individual. She seeks to fulfill her main role as a Sheikah in protecting what's left of the Hyrule royal family, though she does have her own personal mission. During the Great Paradox War, her father was slain by a distinct individual from Ganondorf's Legion. Witnessing her father's fall at a young age has left her scarred and haunted by revenge. Not a single night goes by where she doesn't see her father and his slayer's face in the endless void of her slumber. She swore an oath to his name to hunt down this individual and avenge her father at any cost. She wields her father's Naganata, and in order to use this weapon to capture Pokemon, she shattered its blade to replace it with the blade of a spirit weapon that she discovered in some of Hyrule's ruins. By binding the blade to the handle of the Naganata with her father's scarf, she was able to forge her own spirit weapon, in which she named Revenging Sorrow. Impa would go on to teach former Princess Zelda of Hyrule's royal family about Pokemon as she watched over her growing up. As Ganondorf slowly recovered and his legion grew in strength over the years, the race to obtain the Triforce Shards lost in Hyrule's lands became more dire. Zelda studied every aspect of Pokemon and believed that they held the key to the Triforce Shards' whereabouts. Despite Zelda's great mind, Impa had her doubts about the former princess's theories. That is, until a behemoth of a creature rose from the earth of the Ordona province. This monster couldn't possibly be a Pokemon. It was far too horrific and carried the essence of a dark force. It bore a strange symbol that resembled a warped Triforce with a circle in the middle. The monster began to ravage the home of the Sheikah. Impa desperately grabbed her father's weapon and used all of her skills from the last 20 years to try and slay this behemoth. Through the chaos, she succeeded, but barely. The beast was slain, almost at the cost of Impa's demise. The creature disintegrated into ash and oozed a billow of black smoke. From the ashes, a small gray shard of metal began to faintly shine in the pale sun. A symbol was burned into it and it began to glow like embers. It was a Triforce shard. The first of the nine shards was finally found and hope swept over Zelda and Impa. Zelda knew that this would only be the beginning to a long and dangerous journey. These massive creatures must be what are housing the shards across Hyrule. At her core, Impa knew she could not fight more of these creatures without aid and unfortunately she was one of the strongest trainers in all of Hyrule. She would need someone with an unmatchable amount of courage to guide through the knowledge of being a trainer. 
Luckily, Zelda felt a strong presence of someone with a similar gift as her off in the small Orden village to the south of the province. She urged Impa to investigate and take the Triforce Shard as well as ancient Sheikah artifacts. She trusted Impa's judgment to test the individual to see if they're worthy of taking on this dangerous quest to piece together the Triforce. Now let's take a look at Impa's team that she will be using to test Link. She has four Pokemon, with two being familiar faces and the other two being new Pokemon. The first Pokemon in the lineup is the starter, weak to the starter, Link chose. She then sends out a Pokemon specifically native to the Ordona province, a Skiddo. Now let's introduce a third Pokemon in Impa's arsenal, which is a new but familiar face. Here is Hyrulean Unknown, Sheikah form. The Sheikah symbol Pokemon. It is Hyrule type. Its dex entry reads, This Pokemon is a symbol that represents truth and the will to achieve any goal by any means necessary. It can be found at various locations throughout Hyrule. Its battle ability, symbol of the Sheikah, increases its same type attack bonus by a large amount. Lastly, her current ace Pokemon for this team. Here is Telstone, the Gossip Stone Pokemon. It is stone and spirit type. Its dex entry reads, This Pokemon resides unmoving in random places throughout Hyrule. Its wisdom on the land is unremarkable. It seems to house spiritual energy used to power ancient Sheikah technology. Its battle ability, Blue Flame, increases the damage it deals by how many Blue Flames you have in your inventory. At 32 Blue Flames, it will unlock an additional power. So that's Impa's team. Its primary function is to be a moderately difficult team early on to test Link, as well as have some personal Sheikah representation. Story-wise, Link manages to actually defeat Empa, which really caught her off guard, mostly because Telstone is an extremely strong and rare Pokemon to come across this early. She was also impressed with Link's ability to stand his ground, despite the odds being stacked against him. His last Pokemon was at critical health and somehow managed to power through it. She explains that she will accompany Link from a distance through the beginnings of his journey to guide him and back him up in case Ganondorf's legion tries to intercept him. She then respectively hands over the Triforce Shard and tells him how important it is that he keeps it safe. As he holds it, his starter Pokemon reaches up to touch it and the shard begins to glow even more intensely and is somehow absorbed into the Pokemon. Link and Impa gasp as the Pokemon begins to glow and seem empowered. When a Pokemon holds a Triforce Shard, they gain a stat bonus depending on which shard they are holding. If they are holding a Shard of Power, their base attack and special attack is greatly increased. If holding a Shard of Wisdom, their base defense and special defense is greatly increased. And lastly, if they're holding a Shard of Courage, their base max health and speed are greatly increased. Deku would receive Wisdom, Gorlet Courage, and Zarel Power. Currently, the shard that's with the starter must be held and cannot be removed. It also must be activated before battle to gain the bonus effects, and the Pokemon will keep those effects until it leaves battle. Afterwards, the shard will lose energy and will need to be revitalized by visiting a fairy spring. But there is more to this interaction with Pokemon and the Triforce shards. Some Pokemon can access a phenomenon called Trinity Forms. While none of the Pokemon Link currently has can access those forms, I'll show you what the fully evolved starters will look like with these forms. These forms can only be accessed by specific Pokemon with specific Triforce shards, so they are quite rare but very powerful. Their dex entries would state that they can obtain a Trinity form with a specific shard. Let's start with Dexciple. Trinity Dexciple, the Awakened Twilight Pokemon. This form of Dexciple is the product of transcending its potential from the Twilight Realm. Its knowledge is incomprehensible to humans, and it no longer needs its physical power. Its types turn into the Trinity-specific wisdom type, 
Wisdom type makes it take neutral damage from all types except power type, which it'll take super effective damage from. Wisdom type also deals super effective damage to courage type, but also one third of all types. Now for Gorkano. Trinity Gorkano, the erupting salvation Pokemon. This form of Gorkano is the product of being free from the prison of Death Mountain. Its bravery is unrivaled. Its size can no longer contain the power within its soul. Its types turn into the Trinity specific Courage type. Courage type makes it take neutral damage from all types except Wisdom type, which it'll take super effective damage from. Courage type also deals super effective damage to power type, but also one third of all the types. And last but not least, Blizzora. Trinity Blizzora, the galvanized crystal Pokemon. This form of Blizzora has weaponized its very weakness into crimson charged crystals. Its power is uncontrollable in this state. It feels no pain and fears nothing. Its types turn into the Trinity's specific power type. Power type makes it take neutral damage from all types except Courage type, which it'll take super effective damage from. Power type also deals super effective damage to Wisdom type, but also one third of all types. These forms are extremely powerful and showcase more of the mystery of the Triforce in this incarnation of Hyrule. This story will continue with Link venturing deep into the husk of an old cursed tree, where the Kokiri of the Faron province face a greed-stricken disaster. Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for the support. I will see you next time on Link Dimension.